Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Quest XI where we left off. Uh, the old man stole the rainbow and wanted to meet us here. Uh, I think either the luminary has a sister or his parents are royalty, something like that. If you're new here, I take a lot of screenshots, thumbnail purposes. There's about a two to three second delay between what you see on the video and what I see on the television screen. Including my commentary, I cannot make these two things separate because it becomes a laggy and unwatchable mess. Trust me, I've tried. Now, I trust that if I run into these things, I am not knocking them over and I will instead be inside of a battle. Please don't hurt me, I'm not a bad slime. If you promise not to hurt me, I'll tell you something surprising. This well goes all the way to the castle. You can ooze it to get where the barrier, brazier things are. What? What? This well. This well goes all the way to the castle. You can use it to get to where those brazier things are. Fuck, I hate pun language. I'm gonna trust this enemy slime that can mysteriously talk. Oh gosh, it's a dungeon. Alright, how many enemies? Where's the first enemy? What am I gonna be experiencing? Where's the old man? Where's Jade? There were no enemies. Yet. The dank and deadly dungeons of Heliodor. Ruins of Dundrasil. Are you telling me the old man? Oh, yeah, he sure did. The old man went through all that. I. <laughs> so you made it at last. Is it just you? Where's your friend, the girl? Hmm. She has duties to attend to. She'll be glad you came, though. As am I. It's not like we had much choice. Now where's the rain bow? We need it. Oh, you do, do you? I suppose that's because your pal here's the luminary. <sighs> Wait. How could you? I thought you died years back, laddie. When I saw that mark in your hand at the tournament, my heart skipped more than a few beats, let me tell you. I fell in love with you on that day, let me tell you. Now, come along. There's something I want to show you, if you'll indulge an old man for a wee while. No, thank you. Yeah, just like with Gemma, I don't know if I should cut this all out or not. Cause man, you fucking slow. At least Gemma was running. Can I just go ahead of you? Aye, this place brings back some memories, sure enough. Look. Are you going to tell us who you are, or what? I'd already given up most of my duties by then. I spent most of my days in the city enjoying my retirement. Oh, we had us some fun. <laughs> and then the monsters came. And I lost everything. When I was your age, laddie, this was one of the finest cities you could ever hope to see. And look at it now. One night. That's all it took them to tear it all apart. Ugh. Just listen to me blethering on. I, I was going to show you something, wasn't I? Come on. Slow. Is this somebody's grave? 
No, Veronica, it is a lollipop. Why would you ask that? Aye. This is where the king and queen of Dundrasil are buried. So you bury them in the middle of the road where people can just metaphorically walk over their corpse. Use a genius! Or whoever did this. You mean... This is your parents' grave, laddie. The grave of my daughter and son-in-law. So, you're our biological grandpa? Wait, but that would mean you're his grandfather. These two fine young souls died, and I survived. I came to believe there must have been a reason for that. That someone had a purpose in mind for me. So I set out to learn why Dundrasil was destroyed. And I've been on the road ever since. Covered some of the truth on my travels. It was King Carnelian, you see. He changed. He once believed in the power of the luminary more than any of us. But he became convinced that you were evil, that you were the dark spawn. Ah. He's not a man I knew any longer. Foxy blames you for everything, even the death of his daughter. How could you, old friend? There's something behind it all. The fall of Dundrasil, the change in my old comrade. I promise you, I will find out the truth! Usually I see. There's an altar up in the hill behind the castle. I'll be waiting for you there. Usually I save the characters who have known more pain than Rex count for the main cast till the end of the game, but it's appropriate to put it here. Although I guess Rex. Both Rex parents died, so... Man, I guess this is actually one of the few times where I don't need to put it. Because that's one of the things that Dragon Quest Boy and Rex actually have in common. Dead parents that they never met. You stop. No, good. Alright, I'm going on ahead, old man. Cause you slow as hell. So yeah, if you're wondering why I didn't put on the counter there for characters of known more pain than Rex, well, I figured I actually don't have to in this case.
Everything's ready. Thank you, Princess. It looks just perfect. Princess. Is she actually Princess? Because then she's royalty and hot. Hotter. Wait. You don't mean... If the rest of you wouldn't mind standing back here with me, only members of the Dracillian royal family may perform the ritual. How come he called you princess? Are you? Quiet now. The ritual is about to begin. If you're curious, I also take pictures of very pretty, very pretty characters. Because also, I don't know if I'm going to be using them in the thumbnail or not. So, if you wonder why I'm taking pictures, it's either pretty lady or thumbnail purposes. You just follow my lead. All right, laddie. The souls of those who depart this life must all return to Yggdrasil. One life for each leaf of the great world tree. But those taken by monsters cannot return of their own accord. So our ancestors devised a ritual to send them on their way. The smoke guides them back to where they belong. To Yggdrasil's bosom. Each butterfly is a lost soul, and now they can all be at peace. That's a lot of lost souls. You didn't die in vain, Eleanor. He saved your boy, and the princess. It was a noble sacrifice you made. Thank you, my beautiful girl. And goodbye. I hope you don't mind me asking, but... Your mother didn't leave you anything, did she? Sorry, I know this is a dramatic scene, but with the hero giving a letter and this being a thing, all I can think all I can think about is that letter actually being for Smash and Red will open it and be like, Eh hey, laddie, this says you're going to join something called Super Smash Brothers. so much, but I suppose if you'd not set out for Heliodor, the journey would never have led you to me, eh? Oh, Eleanor. Sorry, Laria. I'm going to need to be alone for a wee while. I would be more sad, but it's just... It, it's the standard, oh no, dead parent 
I've never seen that in an anime. It let me leave me for a wee while. Uh, sure. I would prefer to interact with Jade. Hello. I think I figured out who that girl is. It's kind of hard to believe, though. Do we have our other allies just around here? Like. Oh, you're actually not following me. Okay. That's the, things would be a lot easier if you just fly out to Ig just still like those butterflies. Sorry, that's not the time to be saying silly things like that, is it? I mean, you said, is this a gravestone? Well, I guess it's only those two for now. Yep, yeah, okay, so here's another one. Oh, and there's Jade. Wasn't the Queen Brave rescuing you the way she did? Veronica and I must learn from her example. After all, it's our job to protect you now. Salvando! Oh, darling, the ceremony was just beautiful. Your parents are at peace now, I'm sure. Honey. Smash. 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 Lady Elena. Who's there? You weren't supposed to see that. I was just thinking about Lady Eleanor. I... I mean, your mother. Why don't we take a little walk? Smash. My mother was a rather sickly soul, by all accounts. She died not long after I was born, so in a sense, Lady Eleanor was the only real mother I ever knew. She used to read me stories, take me flower picking. I loved her so much. You can imagine how happy I was when I heard she was having a baby. I couldn't wait to meet my little brother. You know, it was raining like this the last time I ever saw her. I can't believe how much time has passed since then. Hmm? Wait, up there. <sighs> Something tells me they're looking for you and your friends. And there's only one kingdom that can send that many soldiers out on a manhunt. Come on, we need to get back to the others. Hmm. Is she? She is. Smash. We must go away from here before reinforcements arrive. Come on, butts. Let's return to the elder and join Rab and the others. Yeah, uh, no, she's not technically in the party. But I still have lost HP. Man, I sure hope this lady is recruitable. Where are the ones from the altar? No sign of them. What about the Darkspawn? No sign of him either. Blast! They must have gone away. It, it's him! <gasps> He's over here! The dark spawn is over here! Oh, for goodness sake. Smash. <laughs> what shall we do with the girl? Sir Hendrick's orders were to bring the dark spawn back alive. He never said anything about anyone foolish enough to side with him. Just you try it. We're done. Because this is hot. Oh, I can't mix 
expect you to take her on alone. Sir Hendrick! Sir Hendrick! Come on. We'll head around the mountain and meet up with the others before he gets back. That ended too quickly. That was hot. I'm going backward. Hot. Not that way, but we need to get off this mountain and find the others. But the others are up there. Spawn, there is nowhere left to run. <sighs> you are a slippery one, I will give you that. I had not thought you would make it this far after I picked up your scent in Octagonia. Darkspawn is mine. Deal with the girl. Forward. <laughs> this is all the dreaded child of darkness can muster. Pathetic. No longer dark spawn. The chase ends here. <gasps> Hedrick, don't you dare! Huh? Princess Jade? Surely not. I won't let you go again. Wow. Wow. There is a lot to unpack there. Oh my gosh. Okay, so whether or not you like me for my reactions or not, I don't care. Uh, when cutscenes like this happen, I either pause by doing this, or I just don't say anything. And that entire time, I was just... Oh, hold on, my glasses are covering it. Like, the entire time, just wordlessly surprised. But, okay, sure, she is kind of a stepsister. A lot of shit happened in this part. First we have your parents are dead. Oh no. And now we have, oh by the way, you're kind of a step-sibling. Wow. Oh good. You're awake. <laughs> I'm soaked through. 
Let's get warmed up, shall we? First of all, that was too cute of a sneeze. Which, I don't like that they did that. They tried way too hard to make a cute sneeze. Second of all, I don't care if they're technically somewhat, uh, technically somewhat related. Smash, giggity. I, I'm glad I caught you. I couldn't have forgiven myself if, if it happened again. I suppose Rad must have told you about your mother, that she sacrificed herself to save you and the Princess of Heliodor. Well, you've probably worked it out for yourself already, but I was that princess. Your mother saved my life. So the princess that was visiting, the princess of Heliodor, wrong button, the, when I was at, at Heliodor and saw the princess's chambers and said smash, it was you this whole time. Hot. Because, damn. Can, can we take this guy out of Super Smash Brothers for the Nintendo 64 and put her in instead, please? Because I'm way more invested with her. That night, the night Dundrasil fell, we ran from the castle, but the monsters were too fast. She handed you to me and distracted them for long enough for us to get away. She died to save us. But even though she trusted me with you, I I was too weak and stupid to I fell in the river and I let you go. I can't tell you how many times I've wished that it was you Rab fished out of there and not me. After he found me, we headed back to Heliodor. We thought my father might help us to find you, but when we got there, we found out he was telling people I'd been killed by the Luminary. He was trying to make people believe awful things about you. Grab was convinced that he wasn't in his right mind, that someone must be controlling him. So we set out together to find out who and why. I never expected to see Hendrik again, let alone on the battlefield. We were lucky to get out of there alive. Looks like the rain's dying down. We should head back to Dundrasil. Bye! Bye! Jeez, you're attractive! Like, holy shit! In fact, I'm gonna... So you can see more. Oh, well, that's an appropriate part. <clears throat> uh, that, that's, wow. Wow. Uh, uh, a lot to unpack here. <laughs> oh, boy, I hope there's a save. Oh, boy. Wow. I have no idea what I'm going to do for thumbnails and video title. Uh, but I'm going to pause this video here. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next part. Jackass out.